Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel and in this video I'm going to do a review of a 2018 Jaguar XF. You do get your beautiful stout Jaguar key fob, lock, unlock, trunk release button, panic and there's a button that you press to activate the headlights. So press and hold and hold slightly longer on it. The headlights will turn on immediately as shown. If you press and hold on the unlock button, all four windows will roll down simultaneously. To roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. Alright, let's step in. So on the door panel, you do get a memory seating function, central locking, window lock, mirror controls, Jaguar door seals, and you do get your trunk release button together with your interior brightness level. The driver's seat in this car is powered. Okay, let's step in. Overall, a really unique interior. And in order to start the vehicle, and to start, keep the key fob inside the interior of the vehicle, And in order to just turn on the accessories, press the start button once without putting your foot on the brake. And to start, put your foot on the brake and press the start button mounted below the air conditioning control system. Perfect. Fully automatic driver's side window. Alright, let's turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights. Rear fog light. And the exits. The hood release is on the passenger side. This car comes with safety features such as six airbags with an ABS, stability control, immobilizer, child safety lock, airbag disable function, seatbelt warning, and ISO fix. This car comes with 18 inch helix 10 spoke alloy rims. The front brakes are ventilated discs while the rear brakes are also ventilated discs. The front suspension is a double wishbones, while the rear suspension is a multi-link. The size of the front and rear tires are 245 stroke 45 R18. The spare tire is a space saver. The Jaguar XF is an executive mid-size luxury sports sedan produced by Jaguar Cars, a division of Jaguar Land Rover available in both sedan and station wagon body styles. 
Succeeding the first generation steel body XF introduced in 2007, the second generation XF sedan made its debut at the New York International Auto Show in 2015, and it's particularly notable for its aluminium bodywork. This shift to aluminium construction represents a significant evolution in the model's design, aiming to improve performance, efficiency, and handling. The Jaguar XF continues to embody the brand's commitment to luxury, performance, and cutting-edge automotive technology. The hood release is on the passenger side. This car is powered by a 2-liter, 16-valve DOHC with direct fuel injection, turbocharger and variable intake and exhaust valve timing, produces a capacity of 1,999cc, 237 horsepower at 5,500 rpm, 340 newton meters of torque at 1,750 rpm. The bore time stroke is 87.5 mm x 83.1 mm. Now to 100 km per hour is 7.5 seconds. The rated economy is 7.5 liters per 100 km. The top speed is 248 km per hour, while the carbon dioxide measures 179 grams per km. This car is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Alright, let's shut the hood. The 2018 Jaguar XF is a luxury sedan that offers a sleek and stylish exterior design. Some of its key exterior features include distinctive front grille, slim LED headlights, sculpted body lines, elongated hood, premium wheel options, chrome accents, sleek roofline, LED taillights, and integrated spoiler. Overall, the 2018 Jaguar XF boasts a combination of elegance and luxury in its exterior design, making it a standout choice in the luxury sedan segment. Dimensions of this car are 4,954mm, 1,987mm, 1,457mm in length, width and height respectively. The wheelbase measures 2,960mm, while the weight measures 1,590kg. There are two ways to open up the trunk in this 2018 Jaguar XF. The first way is via the button on the key fob, while the second way is go towards the Jaguar badge itself and locate the touchpad to open it up. Down below, you do get your spare tire, toolkit and jack. Right inside, additional storage and another hook. And the rear seats do not fold, so cargo space would remain the same. All right. This car measures a fuel tank of 74 liters. All right. So let's roll up the window. So let's check out the rest of the car.
window control. Grip handle and a hook. Together with your central locking button, so you, if you lock it, you cannot press the button again to unlock unless the driver presses the central locking button. So, you do need to open up the door to uh, manually unlock it. Storage nets on both sides filled with things. Couple of air convents. A switch with a 12 volt power outlet. Rear center armrest with a couple of cup holders. And reading lights. Alright. You also do get a speaker and storage. Your lock button as well. Adjustable. Adjustable headrests. Front. And rear. Lock button again. So this lock button, mainly if you press it, as I forgot to mention, it's either if you press it from the passenger side or anywhere on the rear seats, it will lock all four doors, especially the driver. But to unlock it back, it's either you pull the handle and then you close back the door, but that does not open the rest of the doors. That will just open the side door that you're in. Or if you can convince the driver to um, unlock the doors, then all four doors will unlock. Just like this. Window control again. Mini storage. More storage down here with a speaker. Speaker right there. Nicely sized glove compartment. Grip handle for the passenger. Sun visor for the passenger side does get a vanity mirror and a light.
three spoke design leather wrap steering wheel with chrome on the spokes together with your sport grips and um, black stitching Dual zone automatic climate control system, fan speed, air conditioning button, maximum air conditioning, maximum defrost, recirculation, automatic button, automatic button, different zones. So you do adjust your different zones through the touchscreen right here defrost and on and off air conditioning sync button so if you have sync turned on the driver side you can control the passenger side temperature well if you turn off the sync each side will have their individual climate controls. You also do get your climate settings, like your auto power, auto heated screen, and outer vent rotation. And um, that's pretty much about it for the air conditioning system. Screen head unit. Press power to turn it on and off. So you do get your system settings, system settings, language, time and date, volume settings, navigation from volume and traffic announcement, unit of measurement, automatic beep tone, animations, automatic text scrolling, screensaver, and dynamic home menu. Under display settings, you get your brightness, media settings, traffic announcement, sound settings, balance and fader, bass, mid and treble, and speed dependent volume. Radio settings. Bluetooth settings, you can search for Bluetooth devices, so on and so forth. Climate settings as shown earlier. And low friction launch. Climate button as shown earlier. Navigation. doesn't work right here, phone, and your media. So you do get your source, FM radio, AM radio, and auxiliary. You also get your shortcut buttons, like your on and off, parking sensors, Settings, home button, switch between your different sources, media button, phone button, and your navigation. Volume and power knob. And if you press audio off, mainly you can't access your sources. But if you did access it, it will say audio off unless you turn at least volume to one. And that's pretty much about it.
And lastly, as I forgot to mention, this is your low friction launch. Valet mode. And your eco data. So this is your impact on fuel. Driving style. And your advanced trip. So you do get your average fuel consumption and driving style. As shown. See you good lighter. This car is paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission. This in um so mainly, let's say if I turn off the engine, the circular gear will go down. While if I turn on the engine, the circular gear knob will rise up. Some storage right down here. Cup holders. You can also cover it up which I'm not going to. Automatic off button, traction control off. This button switches between your different modes. Like your eco, winter, downhill assist control, electronic parking brake. So if you Put your foot on the brake, push the lever down, it disengages the parking brake. Then if you pull the lever up with your foot on the brake, it will engage. Front center armrest with 12 volt power outlet, auxiliary port, and an SD card. Central locking. lock the mirrors in this Jaguar XF is actually not foldable but however you still can adjust it with either with this right here or your left and right buttons Wiper controls, indicator controls, and if you press the button on the end of the indicator stock, it goes through the multi information display. So you do get your date. Trip A, average speed and average fuel consumption. Fuel consumption. And back to the range. Cruise control and speed limiter controls. Steering wheel and multi-information right display here. controls. Phone button. Mode button. Mainly switches between your different sources. Voice control. And if you press the menu button, Goes to your multi information display. Trip, trip A, trip B, and o trip automatic. Trip content. So you do get your trip distance, average speed, average consumption, instantaneous consumption, distance to empty, and your driving style. Trip units. Display settings. Information panel. You can show either your media, trip summary, or logo. Units, digital speedometer. Trip. And temperature. Mainly, what, what do you want these units to show? Language.
vehicle settings, passenger airbag, security features, and convenience features. All right down here, so on and so forth. Vehicle information, last alarm, and vehicle VIN. And back to your trip. Now, if you haven't touched the um, buttons on the steering wheel for a long time, then it will set back to your audio controls. Pedal shifters on the steering wheel. And the steering wheel on this car is still in telescopic, you adjust it. And the steering wheel on this car is still in telescopic, you adjust it using this lever right down here. Here. And then mainly. So if you put it to automatic mode and when you turn off the engine, the steering wheel will be put to its specific position, while if you turn it on, the steering wheel will be put to its last recorded position. While if you put it away from auto, the steering wheel will just remain to where it was when you adjusted it. Auto dimming, rear view mirror. Front reading lights. Sunglass container. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a light. Driver does get a grip handle. Alright. And also, um, if you press this power button right here, and it, when you turn it off, the aircon vent will slide down, and if you turn it on, the aircon vent will be put back up. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can cut it off right here. Move the key fob, move the key fob, and turn the lights back in automatic mode. Okay, let's step out. This right here concludes today's car review. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.